So with the Digi SM120, inputting the PLUs is a relatively simple process. You can get the program that Digi provides free of charge and do the programming and all that on the computer and then upload it to the computer. But sometimes you need to do things on the fly. And this is how you do it. Again, it's super simple. Now, what I've already done is I've already put your, your alphabet tab into the sleeve. Because this has your, all your layers, A, B, C, space, code, blah, 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 it has all that. You're going to need that because if you don't have that, then you're kind of guessing because these are just P25, P26, P27. And if you already have a scale that's programmed with speed keys, you might have items in there. So again, trying to find the letters you want, it's easier just to keep your alphabet card close by. Now, these are sometimes a pain in the neck to slide in and out of the sleeve, so I've stapled a little tab here. It's just a little trick. So let's, we'll throw that in there. So now we know what keys are for what. All right, so we're gonna come out of here right now. We're on select sell by date, but let's go back and we'll start from the beginning. We'll quit and we're out. So now we're in scale mode, okay? But we wanna enter a PLU. We, we've got a new item we wanna put in. So how do we do that? Start with your programming key. Press it once, twice, third time. The first programming menu to come up is your PLU programming. Now you can use these buttons here to scroll through the menu, go to the top, which is S51, or go to the next one, which is that's program PLU and the S2, that's your program number, you know, department, so on and so forth until you find what you're looking for. But for our purpose, we just need the program PLU. Once you have that up, you hit the enter button. Now, the PLU number, it's whatever your PLU number is. So in this case, let's pretend it's, we're gonna say we're entering a PLU of 802. Type that in, it shows up up here. Then press your enter button. Now, in your unit price, you wanna pay attention to this here because right now this says PR, which means price, dash LB. So this isn't going to be a pound price item. So what you wanna do is touch the X button and now it changes to pieces. If it was a pound item, you put it back to pound, but we want pieces. So we're gonna put it in pieces, and we're gonna say it's $5. Once that $5 is in there, we're on pieces. So we've entered our unit price and hit the enter button. Now this is where you enter the text and this is where your alphabet card is gonna come in handy. So we're just gonna make this very, so we're just gonna call this uh, sandwich. So we start with the S, the A, the N, D, and so on and so forth. Now, something interesting, and I'll just, we'll make a space and I'll show you something. So I'm gonna put in a J, and it doesn't matter what letter this is. If I hit it again while it's still flashing, it makes it lowercase, makes it a symbol. So large case, lowercase, symbol. And it's the same with the, any other letter too. So A, uppercase, lowercase, number uppercase. So you can scroll around through if you want to do it that way. Now we want these out here, so we're just going to hit this little back arrow here and then hit delete and then hit the arrow one more time, hit delete. So now we have sandwich. Now what's very important, and I'm going to show you why in a second, is these numbers right here. If you look here, it says A63. Now that's your font size. And if we left that alone, let me show you what that looks like. So we're gonna to enter to the next screen. Here's another screen with font, and again, another font size, A72. Again, remember those font sizes. You know, we move to the next one, item code. Now, if your item code differs from your PLU, you would type that in here. But in this instance, it's gonna be the same, so we'll just make it 802. And we hit enter, select sell by date. So let's say we do wanna print a sell by date. Up here, if you look, it says print sell date. But if you hit the X, now it says N print sell date. That means don't print the sell date. Print sell date, no print sell date. You hit enter, and it'll say select item unit symbols. We don't want a symbol, but if you wanted to, if you press the X, it's pieces. So we'll put that in there. Hit the enter button. Now the item quantity, how many are going to be in there? It's gonna be just one. Hit the enter. 
Nutrition is a whole different process, and we'll get into that in another video so we can go through that. When it says press the PLU key, if you hit enter and it says that, it means you're done. It goes back to the program PLU. So you could enter another PLU if you wanted to, but we don't need to do that right now. So we're going to go back one button, two clicks. Now we're back at the scale function. So let me show you why that number was important, that A61. If we type in our PLU, 802, and hit PLU, it comes up sandwich. It's $5 for a piece, right? So one piece, $5 each. If we hit the print, when the label comes out, and it's going to be kind of hard to catch this on camera, but this little bitty line here says sandwich, okay? Your customers are going to hate that. If you need to print it that small, you probably have way too much on your label. 